Fired up from the success we'd had on the float over at Doggett's farm, Pete and I next headed to Malden in Essex to fish the main lake at Chigborough Fisheries. I hadn't fished Chigborough since I first went over there as a teenager back in the early 80s. I only caught eels and small stuff myself, but I remember other people clocking up big bags of bream and carp and witnessing one angler have an epic battle with an unseen monster on the float. So I had a lot of fond memories of the place and I was pretty keen to get back over there after all those years and see what it was like nowadays. Being midweek, it was pretty quiet, and after a walk round, we found a couple of likely looking spots. Again, we fished a grain of corn under a waggler and baited our swim to hemp and ground bait. It didn't take long for the tench bubbles to start appearing, and it looked like we might be in for a bite or two. We didn't quite expect one first cast though, but sure enough, not 10 minutes after setting up, Pete played the first tension of the day into the net. And after that, they just kept on coming. It was a busy first hour or two's fishing, with four landed and another couple slipping the hook. Unfortunately, Pete lost a proper good one at the net, and after that, the tench seemed to drift off for a bit. Meanwhile though, we kept trickling the bait in and enjoyed the peaceful summery surroundings while waiting for the red eyes to return. <laughs> One of the things I like about float fishing is you never know what you're going to get and sometimes something you weren't expecting pops up out of the blue. Back in the day when I fished a few matches on Chigbra I remember a lot of carp getting caught on the float, mostly on hemp and casters. So I was half expecting one of them to come along which would have been fun on four pan line and a size 14 hook. There were no signs of any carp around in the swim though. Instead the lake gave up a few other welcome surprises for me. Yeah, that's a nice rug mate. Classic, mate. <laughs>
on the float. Fantastic fish. What a beautiful boy. Yes. That's double, double. I don't know what that bream weighed, but it was definitely my biggest one so far, so that was a nice result. The tench were a decent average size too, and we thought if we could just keep the bites coming, we'd surely be in with a chance of something a bit bigger. After that little run of other species, it turned out the tench hadn't gone too far after all. Call me biased, but I thought that last one might just about have been the biggest of the day so far, and what a cracker it was. As afternoon turned to evening, maybe the tench would switch on again for another feeding spell, and with any luck, my purple patch would continue. But Pete's got a knack of pulling one out of the bag when you least expect it, and once again, he'd saved the best till last. When I fished Chigbra all those years ago, I didn't realise there were other cool fishing lakes on the complex, but I did now, and after talking to a few anglers fishing on them, Pete and I decided that that's where we'd head to next, to continue our quest for Big Tench on the float. <laughs> 